आई रिमेंबर इट वॉज नाइन्टी सिक्स और नाइन्टी सेवन वेन द फर्स्ट मैकडोनल स्टोर इन मुंबई ओपन राइट नेक्स्ट टू वेर आई लिव एंड देर यूज टू बी अूज लाइन आउटसाइड एक्सटेंडिंग आउट ऑफ द स्टोर वेटिंग टू ट्राई इट्स गुड्स वेदर इट इज द सॉफ्ट सर्व और द मेकालो टिकी और इवन इट फ्रेंच फ्राइज मैकडोनल्स हैड क्विकली टेकन अवर फैंसी फॉर इट्स चीप बट एस्पिरेशनल मील्स एंड टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू शेयर विथ यू गाइज वन सच रेसिपी विच इज पिज्जा मैक पफ I believe that it is very similar to the original one without any additives or enhancers but you'll have to try the recipe to believe me no so let's get started So we will first begin by making the filling that will go inside the pizza puff for that heat some oil in a pan you can take olive oil or any kind of refined oil you can also take butter and then add in minced garlic to it once the rawness goes off add in the vegetables of your choice i have added french beans carrots corn and peas you can also add some onions then add salt a little bit of water and cover and cook till all the vegetables have become cooked and softened once all the water dries off add in the oregano and pizza seasoning along with ketchup and homemade pizza sauce If you want you can use store bought pizza sauce but you will need to add a little bit of fresh tomato puree to balance out the strong taste. Once this mixture is ready give it a taste and then cool it completely. This mixture should not be very very uh, wet otherwise it will uh, the pizza puff will burst open in the oil while frying. Now transfer it to another bowl and let it cool properly. And then once it is cooled add in your mozzarella cheese don't add the cheese when the mixture is hot otherwise your cheese will become melting and also don't add a lot of cheese otherwise while frying it will expand and burst now to make the outer covering i have used some all purpose flour or maida and to that i am adding butter now in this recipe it is important to add saturated fat for the correct texture and butter is a saturated fat Now in McDonald's the recipes I think that most probably they should be using hydrogenated vegetable fat or dalda or shortening and adding butter essence to cut costs but we will use pure butter to give it a great taste then add in the baking powder salt and sugar and mix everything properly don't substitute the butter for oil because butter gives the correct texture for the covering Once the mixture resembles this kind of texture and it forms a hard ball when pressed this is ready and then I'm going to add in cold water to form the dough use about 5 to 7 tablespoons of water to form the dough and get it to this consistency cover it with a moist cloth and keep it aside for 30 minutes After 30 minutes you will feel that the texture of the dough has become much smoother and it has become much easier to work with. Divide this dough into 8 equal parts. Dust some flour on a surface and roll this dough till 2 mm thickness. Try to roll it in as rectangular shape as possible. Then use a sharp knife to divide it into 2 equal parts and place your filling at the center of one of the parts now try to place the filling in a rectangular shape and try to make it as evenly distributed as possible it should also not be too domed once you are satisfied with the shape of the filling wet your finger a little bit and then run that wet finger along the edges of the filling this will help us in sealing the two uh, layers of the outer covering but be careful not to add a lot of water otherwise instead of si sticking the two uh, coverings will start slipping from each other then use pressure on from your fingers and seal the edges carefully seal it as close to the filling as possible and there shouldn't be a lot of air stuck inside otherwise once again it will expand and burst while filling use this kind of a curly knife to pinch off the edges or remove the extra dough 
and that's it our pizza puff is ready but before frying just be careful and pinch off the sides like i'm showing so that if any opening is there like in my puff there was an opening will that will also be sealed and uh, the pizza puff will be easy to fry then in medium hot oil place these puffs and fry them till they become golden brown try to use a deep pan and a good quantity of oil to fry it so that you don't get dark spots like i have got on my pizza puff now as you can see i have got these dark spots on my puff and that is because when we are frying the puff at home we tend to have shallower pans and we don't add a lot of oil and deep pans to fry the puffs and because of which the puff goes down and settles at the bottom and it may get darkened at uh, particular places where it is sticking to the base and to avoid that use deeper pans with more oil now i have used the same recipe to make the puffs that are here at the here at the bottom and at the top but you can see that the texture is a little different and that is because the temperature of oil that i was frying these puffs in was different now these ones i have fried at lower temperature so you can see that the texture is resembling the mcdonald's puffs more closely so if you want the puffs to have texture which is very similar to the mcdonald's ones then fry them in slightly cold oil that is place them in colder oil and this kind of samosa texture or the samosa covering texture is achieved because i fried them at slightly higher temperature so that's the only difference otherwise the recipe is completely same but the texture is different so that's it our pizza puff is ready So I hope you guys have liked this recipe of pizza McPuff. I hope you give it a try and leave your comments and feedback in the comments section below. Also don't forget to tag me in your pictures when you make my recipe and I'll see you soon with another interesting one. Till then happy cooking.